So what we have here is the MRPKI system with a single 30 round uh, magazine pouch insert. And we're going to go over that just a little bit and we're going to go over the MRPKI2 which is a new prototype that we're coming out with now that will go into production pretty soon. It's a double dual uh, 30 round pack, uh, mag pouch uh, retention insert that will hold two 30 round magazines and a double mag pouch. And it, some of its other functions too which it will run in a, a single 30 as well and we'll show that. Uh, your MRPKI2, simple as it is, it just throw it in there. It's that simple. There's no installation. You just throw it in. It's good to go. Uh, you take your magazine, drop it in. Got excellent retention. It's not going anywhere. Hasn't even riot, risen at all. It's got good positive retention in there for pulling your magazines, uh, getting a good index on it. It sits, sits higher in the MRPKI to give you a little bit better of an index on that magazine when you're feeding your weapon system. Nice positive pull. Now if you don't like that pull, you go ahead and you flip it around to the smoother side. It has a flatter edge on this side. Stick it in. That is if you're indexing your magazines with that magwell catch on this side. Your can grip in that direction. Now you have a smoother pull. Less retention smoother pull. Some guys don't like that tight pull, especially when they're running and they're trying to work on their more finer motor, uh, motor skills. So your fine motor skills, you're trying to work on those, maybe get that into your weapon system. You're working on drills where you want real smooth and efficient movement. Still has good retention and it'll hold your magazine. Didn't come up at all. Now with it in this side on this uh, smoother beveled edge here, um, it'll run your steels that way, especially with the magwell catch here. Now if you're running them this way, flip it around so smoother edge is on the other side and it'll run just fine. And it reduces and pretty much prevents a lot of that scraping off on the MRPKI that you'll get on uh, you'll get on this stronger bevel edge if you're inserting it this way. It'll catch on there. So you don't want to run, insert it that way. Just flip it around, insert it this way. And now you ain't got to worry about it catching. It's going to have good positive retention still. Didn't even come up at all. Nice smooth pull and no kydex buildup. And that's what we like. So either way you can run that. Um, it's that simple. Flipping it around. You got other pouches you want to run it in. The 30 round uh, pouches. Uh, we do recommend that the pouch be at least uh, five inches deep to properly seat this and run it. Um, most pouches are about five and a half inches, uh, some a little more even, some a little bit less. But at least as, uh, you have a good five inches to run that, it'll run. It'll run fine. And they'll even run in pouches that aren't quite five inches, but we recommend five inches. On the uh, MRPKIs, they're very simple to install. There's three of them installed here. I just drop them in, pull it up for you, just drop it in just like we did here. And then switching out magazines between the pouches is very simple. You can run any kind of magazine you want. This is a, a, a 45 rounder, very large magazine, but it'll fit index in there very well. Give you a good high sitting index here, good grip on that magazine. It's good. I mean, it's a 45 rounder. You don't need no special pouches for it. You don't need no special bungees or straps to go over top of it. MRPKI, good retention, will run it. And it has excellent retention. Now, of course, like I said, you can flip it around, get less retention on it. But you can run it in any one of your pouches now that you got the MRPKIs in there. It's not going to be like this pouch. It's going to be sloppy, flopping around on you in the MRPKI. You got the good retention. It ain't flopping. It ain't flopping all over. It ain't sliding out when you hit the deck or anything else. It's gonna stay in there and have good positive retention for you. MRPKI2 is a, a dual 30 round pa uh, mag pouch insert uh, which holds two 30 round magazines. I have the system here. I'll run over it real quick here. Just drop it in just like the MRPKI1. You drop it in. Uh, once it's in there, it seats itself in there. Take the first magazine, slap it in. Locks in tight. It is in there. Picking up these other 230 round mags, it's not going anywhere. 
take your next one, push it to the back side, not the front, lock it in. See how it indexes and sits up that back one so you can index it nice and get a nice grip on there. So you can do your pull on there. And feed your weapon system. Uh, traditional, here's your traditional. Sitting flat, a little bit loose in there. Take one out, that other one's real loose in there. And flop out at any time if you don't get that uh, Velcro back on it. Now the Velcro straps on this one, I took it off. Um, however, because these are adjustable, in this uh, pouch, it will uh, Velcro down there. Now, um, probably have to drop the system out and Velcro it in, but I'll show you that in a second. First, we'll go on the poles here. So the first pull here comes out very crisp and tough. The second one is there and it's in there too. It's not coming out and it pulls out nice. Go back in with that. And the secondary here. I'll show you that it does have good retention through the shake. Okay. Now pull it out. Just pull it out like that. Put your uh, put my Vel my Velcro strap back in here. So I can adjust it to its max stop here. Put my MRPK2 back in there. Slap that one in, slap that one in, bring that Velcro over, and have that extra protection, that strap on there. Uh, some operators like that when they're going over walls or they're climbing through stuff, uh, that gives them the extra protections, not catching that magazine and uh, maybe dislodging it. But uh, MRPK, which you've seen in other tests, the two has excellent retention. The MRPK one has excellent retention as well. And with the one, uh, if you do have a Velcro, uh, strap as well it'll work just fine you can use it with it or without either way but uh, so one of the features of the MRPK2 also is it was designed to operate in a single 30 round mag pouch just as efficient as it did in the dual 30 right 30 mag pouch so you just drop it in just like that same thing I got an MRPKI1 here and I got the MRPKI two sitting here. Now it sits much higher. Uh, that This uh, MRPKI-2 uh, in this single 30 round pouch is going to sit much higher for higher indexing. Excellent purchase on that magazine. So when I pull it out I'm ready to go into that weapon system automatic. I got a great hold on that magazine. Um, that would be good for speed drills, uh, other high uh, pressure drills where you really want to go to good uh, good index, indexing on that magazine, good grip on that magazine, good purchase. And so that works out great. And so, uh, again, switching between your systems here, it'll even hold that 45, of course, but it's going to really stick out of it. Uh, and, you know, in, in this case, I can run the 45 here, run the 30 back there, and they line up really nice. And uh, there's one uh, brand out there that's a 40 rounder, and it'll match up really nice with that. If you want to run that way, that is if you're running the, the uh, higher capacity magazines. Don't want to get brand new pouches, large pouches to hold them. You can just run your MRPKAs in there, and it'll hold those magazines. Um, the MRPKA 2 can actually just drop back in here. You can drop it into your uh, plate carrier system in the, in the back row of the 30s I got over here. 30 rounders in the back here. You can drop it in there and it'll run, it'll sit pretty high on there. So uh, it's mostly recommended for the belts or other gear that you're wearing, maybe leg, uh, leg drop leg pouches and stuff like that. Um, great, excellent for the dual uh, 30 reg mag pouches on your vests. These vests here, you can drop them in there. It's gonna work great. It'll hold a single. If you only want to run singles through your uh, maneuvers, it'll hold that single in there just fine. Uh, if you got an MRPKI single and you don't want to run uh, doubles in here, these are dual 30 round mag pouches and it has a pretty tight bungee. Update that existing gear, you're out on the range, you don't want to run, uh, you know, double, double, double all through there and you don't want to run singles through there that are going to bounce around sloppy. You run the MRPKI in there and it holds it very nicely. So the MRPKI-1 is here, the MRPKI-2 is here, 
and because it's a dual pouch now it drops it down in deeper and you can get behind it and drop in your second 30 round mag and it'll set it up higher for you like that and that's the that's the double and this is the single now the single has excellent retention too it's gonna pick up your gear with it that's good retention in there and that's a, that's a dual pouch and it was meant it was designed for the single 30 round pouch so it's a little bit looser but comes out nice indexing you can run it it actually has the straps in here that are nice you can hook the MRP KI-1 behind those straps if you want extra retention just to hold it in there because those pouches are a little bit looser than your what it was intended for but out on the range if that's all you need is an air single single signal and you're working on working from those pouches bumping mags forward that would be an excellent uh, option for you MRP KI-2 if you're running a little heavier you're doing some more shooting you want that back magazine sitting up so you can index that first and then that front one can Drop, for, drop back for you so you can get a good indexing on that one too. And that's a good option for you too. So update that existing gear that you have and some of the old gear, get it up to date. And when you do decide that you want to go up from some of your older gear to some newer gear, uh, just take it out. Take the system out, put it in your new gear. Run it. I mean, you don't have to, these don't have to be updated. These are updated. Uh, these are modernized and can be uh, fitted in any of your gears. Now, there's a lot of other things to go over, but uh, for here, we'll stop the video.